Ahoy, Salty Dogs! My name is Lenscap, and welcome back to Project Titan. Uh, <laughs> you guys really dig, uh, you guys really dig Penny! Yeah, Penny, say hey! Hello, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> You're such a goofball. Um, okay, so, anyway, in our live stream this week, just to give you guys a, a heads up, a, a catch up, um, we worked on the escape pod tubes, um, for our, well, our escape pods, obviously. <laughs> um, what we've got is, uh, we, we set them off to one side. We made it so that from either side of the bridge you can access them. Um, if you go from this side, here, let's turn off our HUD because it looks a little better. If you go from this side, we've got a kind of, like, weird piping thing back here. I think that's pretty cool, though. It adds a lot of good depth. Um, we've got our ladder that goes down into the engineering, which doesn't exist just yet. And, uh, and then we've got a little, like, another um, water airlock thing into the escape pod hallway. Um, this one doesn't have the force field bit. I feel like it's not as important to block this one because we'll have escape pods in the way. They'll go in these tubes, and you can't really get in the tubes. There'll be covers on them anyway, so... Um, these tubes are decorated and uh, looking kind of kind of cool, I guess. Um, I think they look cool, but I built them, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> um, if we hop in into the tube, then you can kind of see a little bit of more detail of what's going on here. The escape pod fits in here, and only just, but it fits. Got some red lighting, so it feels kind of darker. Um, we may move where the light source is, but I, I like the little rod lights there for now. Um, the pods, we we, we um, decided on two pods. We figured that would be enough room uh, for our crew. Got like a little bit of a ladder here. That's actually sideways. We need to fix that. Is this one sideways as well? No, that one's right. Okay, so that's a rotation bug. Um, when you copy and paste these grates, they don't quite rotate properly. That's interesting. So we'll have to fix that. Um, but that is pretty much it. Like, there's a little bit of detailing going on under these grates. You can kind of see it if you squint. Um, there's like a pipe and some stuff. But it's dark under there, so I didn't go like whole hog <laughs> on that one. I don't really have a toggle for the escape pods yet. The logic isn't hooked up, so all I've got right now is a button, <laughs> and then I uh, can switch out whichever direction I want them to go, um, if I want them in or out. But uh, we'll get to the logic in a minute. So let's talk about kind of like complaints about this setup and, <clears throat> excuse me, about this layout for the escape pods. Um, I, I think it works pretty well. Um, I would say my biggest complaint right now is is going to be symmetry. When we try and when we start trying to put these things on, like start trying to put the shell on the back, I I wish that this section were centered better. Um, I've got like a window on this side that we've put in, and uh, and I like that. I like having that detail there. But it doesn't, it it, do, it won't match on this side. Like, obviously, it's not going to match anyway, because there are escape pods here, and there's just a hallway there. But I, I would like for the whole escape pod kind of thing to be a little bit more, like, center aligned to, to, like, this block. You know, like, 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 right about here, probably, is, I would say, is, like, the the middle of this. So we need to move this bit over a couple blocks to here. Um, and, and I think we can do that. I mean, I, I think we can do that without too much trouble. I just am not sure where we want to do the movement, right? Like, um, do we leave this as a straight shot and then kind of curve our hallway a couple blocks? Or do we curve it before we get, you know, like, like from here, curve it and then go out the airlock bit? Like, I'm not sure quite how to handle that situation yet. But I do think it's something we're going to have to address before we start putting uh, the external bits on the ship. Cool, so I got it all moved over. Uh, basically, I just put little blocks in the corners, copied it, deleted it, and then pasted it 
uh, where it needs to go. So I got the hallway moved over, and the pods, uh, the car, the these <laughs> skate pod tubes uh, moved out of the way. So now it kind of aligns more centrally. Um, and then when we add caps on these ends, uh, we'll be able to, it'll just work better from the outside. Um, I ended up going with the extension after the blue, right here. So after the portal, I put the extension in, and I just did this whole thing with the grates and the pipes and the pipes and the mass enhancers and stuff. Um, it, I mean, it works out. It, lo it looks fine, so that works. Um, I do actually think that, just for consistency's sake, this should be a mass enhancer. Um, but otherwise, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, let's move on for our project for today. Now that we've got that out of the way, um, we've got two options for projects. I'm not sure which direction I want to go with yet. I kind of want to do a little bit of uh, planning and, and thinking and uh, kind of decide uh, which way I want to take this. So I could either do... Engineering, I'm thinking I might do engineering, uh, is gonna be our next little bit. Um, the other option though, I was also thinking about putting a ladder at the end of this, um, as a way for us to cap off this. Um, and that could go down into the captain's quarters. And we just have a small little, um, like captain's area, um, in the very back here. Um, that way it's kinda close to the bridge. I, I don't know, that, that may not work out. I haven't decided yet. You know, we could put captain's area back here. I don't know. We'll probably end up doing engineering. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of planning in my head and uh, lay out stuff, and um, when I come back, hopefully I'll have some progress to show you guys. Alright, got a little bit of an engineering bay happening down here. Um, I moved some pipes around. I thought it linked up a little bit better. We're going to have to figure out something about this sign. I still haven't done anything with that, but we'll have to find some neat looking sign graphics or something that we can do. Um, anyway, if we hop down the ladder, then here's our engineering room! Actually, just kidding, it's not anything yet. <laughs> um, and then we can hop down another ladder. There appears to be a block missing, we'll have to fix that. And uh, we're on the floor for engineering. Um, you know, I thought this was a pretty tight space when I started this, and uh, it is. I mean, it's relatively tight, but it's not too bad, actually. We're gonna have enough room in here to do a couple of things. Um, I want to do more than just, like, when you think of engineering in a spaceship, you know, um, you obviously, oh, that's a problem. Okay, we'll have to raise the floor by a block. That's why I do these walkie tests, though, is just to make sure that we can actually, um, accomplish, uh, these kinds of things. So, when you think of engineering, um, in a spaceship, you think of more than just engines, or you should. Um, engineering is also responsible for things like water production and, uh, atmospheric stuff, <laughs> making sure you can breathe, and, uh, and I feel like those are important things and things that we should also, um, incorporate into our engineering room. Um, this is a little bit smaller of a ship, though, so, uh, we might be going too, we might be thinking, overthinking this a little bit, like it's, it's frigate-sized, but I mean, they're gonna need that stuff on a frigate anyway. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we're not overthinking it? But, uh, either way, I, I would like to add some kind of modules for water and air in our kind of engineering room here. Um, as well as engines, obviously. Let's see, I'm gonna have to readjust a little bit of this, because I want these pipes, um, three blocks off the floor, so this will have to be like this, and then this is my, like, normal, like, my wall detail that I'm using for this kind of style ships. Um, is like that with the three-quarter slab of gray. I just feel like it adds a little bit of depth, um, to our, to our build here. So that's what I've been doing. Um, okay, so we've got the floor size, we got the size of the engineering, um, bay, and, oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> um, we've got the size of our engineering where I want it. Um, at least the height and stuff. Now we're gonna have to stretch it out, see how long we need, how much space do we need for, like, water refining and, um, our oxygen machine, whatever that's gonna be. I mean, these are purely, like, cosmetic things that are just for fun, but 
Uh, I like to build for fun. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. So, um, oh, cool. Let's get to building some machines. I felt like before here, I'm going to pick up these lights. I don't really like them here. I'm not sure how we're going to like this area just yet, but I don't, I don't like these. Um, bef I, you know what? We'll just leave it dark. It's fine being dark. Yeah. Executive decision made on camera. Okay. If we, <laughs> if we hop down here, I figured before we got machinery, well, excuse me, before we got machinery in, it would be important to get a little, like, room going. Uh, this doesn't have to be, like, a super detailed room, because we're going to put machinery in here. That's where the detail is going to come from. So we need, like, an air filtration system, probably on this side, and a water filtration system, probably on this side, uh, with pipes going all over the place into various other parts of the ship. Um, sure, that's what they're doing. And, uh... <laughs> And then I think we'll have this doorway will go into an actual, like, engine room. And we'll have an engine on the left and an engine on the right. Um, and uh, that will be able to do maintenance if the thrusters go out or something. Who knows? Maybe the reactor room. I I don't know, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that room when we get to it. That's probably going to happen this episode, too, though. Um, but I, I wanted to, yeah, I think we'll take a look. Just make sure that this room looks good from down here. I think it does. We got kind of this pipe snaking in through these, like, they're almost like girders or scaffolding or something, um, in the top of the room to give it some, some, like, some detail up in the ceiling area, because it's pretty, it's pretty high ceiling, um, and there's not much going on up here, so we wanted to make it at least seem like there was, um, but we had to have this long elevator, this long ladder system, um, so I wanted something to do, you know, something to look at while you're climbing down the ladders, and I think that works. Okay, so let's do the air filtration side next. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is going to look at. I'm going to have to probably Google some some reference pictures and, and find something I like. Air filter installed. So a Google search for, like, air filtration systems doesn't really bring up anything interesting. It's all just, like, big steel rectangles uh, with a couple of pipes. So it's not very interesting at all, actually. Um, but I tried to spruce it up a little bit. We got some bizarre redundant pipes on this side that don't actually seem to do anything. There's like an input that I forgot to hook up. <laughs> Whoops. Um, it goes through these couple of filter things. Comes out this side into five pipes. I figured it'd split up like that to go into other parts of the, um, yeah, of the ship. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, of the ship and... Kind of give it a little bit of life to it, I guess. Um, there's like a maintenance panel. I thought that was neat. And I got pure air filtration on this storage tank or something. Um, air filtration. Pretty straightforward. Um, this is... I don't know about this, though, honestly. Like, uh, it's fine. It's fine, but it's... I feel like it could be better. I'm just not sure what I could do to make it better. But I think it's fine. I think it'll do. Um, it's not really worth worrying about too much. Um, it is just for show, so. Okay, on this side, we're gonna do water filtration, so I think that's next. Water filtration was pretty easy. Uh, for this, basically, I just built two storage tanks and connected them with a pipe. Um, maybe it's just water storage and not filtration, and the filtration happens elsewhere in the ship. Maybe we'll put an access panel right here to something, actually, to give it a little bit of life, because that corner is a little bit empty now. Um, but there's my water. <laughs> this is my water filtration. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. It's just two tanks of various sizes, mostly because I couldn't fit two tanks of the same size uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the uh, in this room here. Um, I used blue glass, blue crystal armor, and white crystal armor for the tanks to indicate kind of full and empty. Maybe we'll change one of them to like a yellow or brown or something and that can be the dirty water tank and then uh and then the other one can be the clean water tank. That's that could be an interesting thing um to do. Uh, I might do that. Um I did not use the actual water block at all. Um I guess we could put there's some space in the middle of these that we could put the water blocks into. Let's just see how it looks. I didn't try this before. Yeah, you can't even tell. So there's no reason to even have them, except that it makes the tank look a little bit more solid. So 
I mean, we could probably use just just more crystal blocks for that, but the actually, the water block does a good job. So maybe I will leave the water block there, even though you can't tell, um, just because it, it fills in the tanks a little bit better. Okay, I like that. I'm going to try it with a different color. Let's do it together. Let's try it with a different color crystal and see how we feel about it. Um, we need, like, a dirty color. Brown, orange, yellow, all three could be good options. Uh, let's try brown first. That sounds kind of gross, but, <laughs> I mean, that's that's going to be really, like, really nasty water. Um, but it could work for us. I mean, maybe we want the water to be kind of gross and nasty looking. Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, maybe it's not too bad. It's it's kind of gross, but it's not that bad, actually. Does that yell dirty... Whoops. Does that... Oh my gosh, Starmaid, why you do things? Does that yell dirty water to you? The blue one definitely yells water. The brown maybe doesn't yell dirty water. Ignore that extra block there. The brown maybe doesn't yell dirty water, though. Although, maybe... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try the orange. I think the yellow is going to be too yellow. Uh, let's try the orange, though, and see how that looks. I don't know why water would be orange. Um, but the color might work better. For, uh, for kind of gross, dirty water. Hmm, it's a little bit more vibrant. I don't know. Maybe we should make the clean water tank the bigger one. No, I like the setup. I just need to decide what color. I think the brown was better than the orange. Okay, for posterity, just just to try it. Um, a lot of the times, I the idea that I think is not going to work is the one that I like the most. So let's try yellow. And see if the yellow works uh, for us. It looks like piss. <laughs> It's supposed to, but, uh, yeah, I, I think the brown was the best. I'm gonna, although it looked fine with them both being blue as well, honestly. I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. I'm not really sure what we should do here. What do you think? Leave your, leave your feedback in the comments for this. Do we want brown? Do we want blue? Yellow? Orange? I don't know. What did you guys like the best? Um... Cool, so I guess the next thing we need to do is let's come down this hallway. I guess we need to make a hallway and then throw some engines on either side that we can kind of quote-unquote maintain. All right, so I was having a really hard time with the water tanks trying to decide which color to use. So I went over to my Discord, which if you want to join the Discord, there's a link in the description um, to join it. It's public, like you, anybody can join. Um, and, and hang out with us, and, and uh, we all build stuff together and, and show off our tricks and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool community. But anyway, I was asking them, uh, what should I do about these tanks? Like, what color should I use? And um, so I showed them the brown, and I showed them the one with them both blue, a screenshot of both, and they said, Cap, and I did one that was green as well, just thinking maybe green water would make sense too. And they said, Cap, why don't you do three tanks with various stages of filtration? Do a brown one, and then one that's a little bit cleaner and green, and then one that's the clean water that's blue. I thought that was a really cool idea, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I just My biggest concern about that is that we have enough space, but I think I can make it happen. So I just want to show you guys real quick how quick and easy these tanks are to build as well. Um, so we'll build a couple together, or at least one. Um, at least the brown one. And uh, it's super, super simple once you get the blocks in the right like orientation. Um, because it's, it's just a, a combination of the same blocks. So they're all corners and solid blocks like that. And there's, uh, there's one tank um, basically finished. All we need now is to put the little cap on it. Like that. And there's the tank finished. Um, we'll need to run pipes from this into the next tank, but let's go ahead and build the green tank then. So let's see, we need to unset blue and red, because we're going to move this one forward a little bit. And I think we're going to have to put it, let's see, if we put it here, then we don't 
Yeah, we're going to have to put it here. Okay, so we'll do this, and then this, and then we're going to do green, like this. We'll do two layers of green. Uh, let's do one layer of green, just so they're a little bit varied. We'll make the tank the same size. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. And then we'll do white, just to make it look like it's empty. We'll put our gray cap on it. Okay, so that's going to be a problem, but that's okay. We can just remove that block for now. And uh, maybe we'll replace it. Maybe we won't. Maybe it'll end up fine. All right, so we've got a brown one, a green one. And now for the blue one. I'm not sure we're going to have quite enough room for this. But let's try it anyway. We're going to have to unset both of these. Let's put the middle there. And okay, let's see if we've got room for this. I, I think we do. I think we might. Okay, and then we want blue. Let's fill this one up. Maybe we fill this one to the top. Because this is our clean water storage. We want to have plenty of clean water. Although, I like it to look like it's in use. So, maybe we don't. Maybe we just do this much. I think that's good. Um, we're going to have to cut out part of the ceiling here. Which is fine. We can fix that later. There we go. Now we've got three tanks of various stages of filtration. Maybe we do... I, I might mess with these a little bit, actually, with the spacing and the positioning of them. Um, but that's going to be the general idea there. <laughs> you see, I finally got smart and put a pill block where I'm working. <laughs> um, okay, so I got my three... Let's stand on the air filter. I got my three... Um, holding tanks in. I think this worked out really, really well. I'm so glad that uh, I asked the Discord about this. This is a great idea. We got them all hooked up with pipes. Um, basically, to get them to fit, I had to extend the room. It was only by one block, so they, they fit fine after that. Um, so that was no problem. Uh, for whatever reason, I didn't measure. I just kind of eyeballed how big this room was going to be. And, um, yeah, it was one block shorter than... It was an even number of blocks anyway, so... This works out, um, but here's what we ended up with. Here's what I got. I got one brown, um, and then it's got pipes that feed over, up and over, into a green. Um, and they feed into the top, and then it kind of, I guess the tank filters, or maybe the things at the top and the bottom filter or something. There's filters in the pipes. I don't know. I didn't think about it that much. <laughs> and then it goes from there to our main holding tank, which I, which I decided was going to be full. So that's a full tank, and that kind of explains the backup in the other two tanks, I, I guess, or something. Um, I don't really have a way, like, and a visual way out of this tank into the rest of the ship. Maybe it goes through the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the easiest explanation. Um, what else? Oh, I guess I could fix that. Yeah, there's a couple blocks missing there I need to fix. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all the time I've got for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like the video, hit that handy dandy thumbs up button. But uh, it's it's all very optional. Like, if you don't care, don't worry about it. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. <laughs>